Hi, my name's Ariel Lee, and my poem is called In the Evening We Shall Be Examined on Love by Thomas and Talila. And it won't be multiple choice, though some of us would prefer it that way. Neither will it be essay, which tempts us to run on when we should be sticking to the point, if not together. In the evening there shall be implications, our fear will change to complications. No cheating will be told, and we'll try to figure the cost of being true to ourselves. In the evening when the sky has turned that certain blue, blue of exam books, blue of no more daily evasions, we shall climb the hill as the light empties and park our tired bodies on a bench above the city and try to fill in the blanks. And we won't be tested like defendants on trial, cross-examined till one of us breaks down, guilty as charged. No, in the evening, after the day has refused to testify, we shall be examined on love like students who don't even recall signing up for the course and now must take their orals, forced to speak for once from the heart and not off the top of their heads. And when the evening is over and it's late, the student body is asleep. Even the great teachers retired for the night. We shall stay up and run back over the questions, each in her own way. What's true? What's false? What unknown quantity will balance the equation? What it would mean years from now to look back and know we did not fail. This entire poem is basically a metaphor contrasting testing and love. And as a student and as a teenager, I could definitely relate to both very well. This poem doesn't exactly focus on sound at all, it's definitely more concentrated on symbols and meanings behind the poem. But there are examples such as, uh, they have repetition in it, using the word blue, and that kind of, uh, creates a despondent tone in a way, because the speaker is kind of reject dejected that test and love are both extremely complicated. And another example, um, it says, forced to speak for once from the heart and not off the top of their heads, Using alliteration, you're focused on the word heart and head. And um, so uh, I'm really bad at talking about my feelings. So I like how he used the word forced to. And also, I definitely have to learn to open up and speak from the heart um, rather than the head. So also, the author's diction was specifically chosen with words relating to tests such as multiple choice, essay, and fill in the blanks. By using this terminology, it effectively creates uh, the contrast between exams and love again. So, the shape of the poem is pretty interesting. So, you can see it's all in one stanza, and it kind of looks like a paragraph you would write for an essay. So, again, this uh, shows that contrast between, um, uh, of a test again. So, there are, ex uh, there are a few lines I really enjoyed, so... No cheating will be told of and try to figure the cost of being true to ourselves. As um, a kid, I watched too many movies and stories that had, like, ones involving the characters being cheated on, and so I had really bad trust issues. Right now, I'm actually dating someone in a long-distance relationship. He works, he lives in Seattle, so uh, because of that, I really have to... Um, open up and trust him and um i really like this part because it says you're being true to ourselves so not only are you being true to yourself but there you have to trust the other person being true to you another line i really enjoyed was we shall climb the hill as the light empties and park our tired bodies on a bench above the city and try to fill in the blanks so the hill i'm guessing is life you have to trudge through you have to keep going fill in the blanks is you guys are writing your own story um, that's up to you, uh, you're writing your own answers. Uh, also it says, cross-examine until one of us breaks down, guilty as charged, so obviously someone has to fall in love first. That was him, by the way, and the, uh, this is my favorite line, we shall be exam examined on love like students who don't even recall signing up for the course. So obviously, um, students are really for forgetful, but so basically you don't ask to fall in love but it just happens i definitely w didn't want to date someone who was living so far away but obviously it just happens so basically um this entire poem it's it's kind of saying that love is sort of like the a test they're both difficult to understand the last line says what it would mean years from now to look back and know we did not fail so we want to we want tests and relationships to end up the same way. We definitely want them to end in success. 
We want to look back and see how much we've accomplished and that we didn't give up on it. So that's basically what the entire poem is saying and that's why I enjoy it so much.